I put that code reader? I know I had it somewhere. Where is that thing? Oh, there it is. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Tom of Fresh Manage Garage. Today we're checking out a code reader. This is the MS309. Quick backstory, we went on Timu and we spun a little prize wheel and uh, we actually got a few duplicates here, so you see the two in the package, but we got three of these uh, in a package deal for a really good low price. Um, you can find these readily available, obviously, on Timu. Uh, there's a link for this on Amazon in the description for this video if you want to look at this, but definitely a code reader, uh, not something I would call a scan tool per se, but definitely like a shade tree mechanic DIY guy. This is what you want in your glove box, but it's pretty simple. It has two buttons on it and the actual port here. So we're going to go outside. We have a couple cars to scan and see if we can uh, get any codes to come up. Let's go do that right now. We are in my 2005 Honda CRV and quick note, we plugged in kind of short there, the cable, but for this price point, you would kind of expect that. Okay. So there we go. And I have one code. So let me hit, let me read codes. Okay, so O2 sensor code, that's normally what that stands for, but I want to hit scroll. It says one of two, so I want to see. Okay, so it's basically saying 0009 up top here, and then I'm guessing that's 0009PD. I'm not sure what that symbol is over there, but one saying catalyst system below and efficiency. So they're basically the same thing. So. Uh, if I wanted to erase the codes, I could do that here. And let's see what freeze frame data does. I doubt this thing does live data graphing, but let's take a look here. Let's see here, I am readiness. Light is on. And then misfire monitor, K. Okay. So if I were to clear all the check engine light codes out of the system and then run this again it would kind of give me a next like an updated uh, view of what's uh, what's going on and let's see vehicle info i'm assuming this will give you the vin yeah here's the vin so that's good to see and then there's calibration details, and if you're in California, it'll give you a verification number. And that's about it in here. It's pretty cut and dry. Uh, let me go to exit. Yes, I want to exit. And your setup, if you do want to change this to your unit of measure, right now it's obviously set on English, but if you want metric, just uh, set it up in here. And that's about it, folks. Let me turn the car off. So wrapping things up, not a bad little unit. If you just literally want to throw it in the glove box right there, hey, my check engine light comes on while I'm driving down the road, this will tell you the code, and you can diagnose from there whether it's an O2 sensor, maybe your map sensor is going wonky, or your throttle position sensor is starting to get out of whack or whatever. But uh, nice little, you know, quick tool, uh, glove box tool. We've done a bunch of videos on various smaller units like this, everything from a uh, Launch CR319 to the Top Scan Lite and Top Scan Pro videos. You can check out the link for each one of those videos in the description of this video that you're watching right now. With that, if you like scan tools, if you like shop equipment, if you like DIY car repair and keeping your ride certified fresh, Fresh Vintage Garage is your channel. Please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Oh, <laughs>